Mrs. Tan gave some sweets to a group of children. If she gave 15 sweets to each child, there will be a shortage of 10 sweets. If she gave 10 sweets to each child, there will be 30 sweets left, meaning an excess of sweets. How many children are there in this group? Alright, now to do this question, we need to use the gap and difference concept, which is applicable for excess and shortages type problem sums. So, what we'll do is we'll write scenario 1. Uh, scenario 1 gives you a shortage of 10 sweets. Okay, and we do the same thing for the second scenario. Scenario 2, but scenario 2, you got to understand that this is an excess. Okay, it's an excess of 30 sweets. And the next step to this method is to find the gap. Now, how do we find the gap? When one is shortage, one is excess, we will add the numbers here. Okay, so again, if one is shortage, one is excess, we will add. If both are excesses or both are shortages, then we will do a subtraction to find the gap. So in this case, 10 plus 30, 40 sweets. And then the next step is to find the difference. Difference, as the word suggests, is always a subtraction. So for the difference, right, you need to use the two statements and look at the number of sweets given to each child, 15 and 10, and you will do a subtraction. Take the bigger number minus the smaller one, you will get five sweets. All right, and the final step, we'll be able to find the number of children by doing a division. Alright, so we take the gap, divide by the difference, 40 over 5, and that will give us an answer of 8 children. Okay, now we can check, okay, we can check by finding the number of sweets in scenario 1. And then we'll check it with scenario 2 as well. Now, scenario 1, if there's 8 children, right? You are giving them 15 sweets each. So, 8 times 15. hundred and twenty sweets. Uh, but then there will be a shortage of 10. So, which means that you don't really have 120. You have 120 minus 10. You only have 110 sweets. Now, let's check this with scenario 2 whether we really can get that 110 sweets or not, okay? Now, scenario 2, if she gave 10 sweets to each of the 8, 8 times 10, that will be 80 sweets, she will have 30 sweets in excess. So, in actual fact, it's 80 plus that additional 30, excess of 30 that she has, so 110 still here. So, which means that our answer of 8 children is correct.